Um, great. Hi. Oh my god. I um. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm starstruck right now. Um, oh, stop it. I'm regular person. I just got out of the shower and I'm like sweating, even though I'm in the AC. It's <laughs> so hot in Puerto Rico. Like, there's no escaping the sweat. Oh no! Well, you're wearing amazing blazers, so um, it looks. Better the video. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, no, I love it. Um, yeah, I get that. I'm sure it's boiling over there. Um, well, I have many questions and we only have 15 minutes. Um, so, but yeah, let's just see where it goes. Um, so congratulations, first of all, super amazing win. Um, yes. One of my favorite seasons, one of my favorite episodes, um, one of my favorite winners. Um, so, uh, like, what what was it that do you think set your game apart from Carolyn's and Heidi's games? And um, yeah, like, why why do you think you won? I think what made me different than Heidi and Carolyn at the final tribal council it was that I was very aware of what my game was throughout the game, and I was able to explain it and say the story in a way that it made sense. Like I knew both of them had done things, not always successful, maybe like my purpose throughout the game and what Carson and I working together did throughout the game that was more successful. But what they did right, they were not able to explain and put into words into some way that it could connect with the jury. And I had those connections with the jury and it was very, very, very aware of when those persons were disconnecting with me and I would try to like connect with them in different ways when they were still in the game. Cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, what was the hardest part of the game that you weren't expecting? The hardest part of the game, it wasn't the food, it wasn't the strategy, it wasn't the challenges, it was the lack of communication. Like I'm super social person and the lack of communication with my family I know it's like a boring answer maybe, but the thing is that it's so important for me to know that everybody that I it's around me is doing okay. Mm -hmm. That even though I left everything with a lot of like plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, like all the way to C in my house, I was not aware of what was going on. But I always tell myself like, no news is good news. No, no news is good news. So I just keep repeating that to myself because if I had to hear anything from home or they have to hear anything from me, that means something bad happened. So. Well, so that's good then. Um, and I mean, that's what made you a great player too, is that you needed to know everyone around you was okay. Like that's how you were on the island as well. I think. Um, what was that? Sorry. That's me. That's me. Yeah. That's something like if somebody's like do, going through something and I can do something about it, even if it's a pep talk or if we, if I need to slap someone and tell them like, snap out of it, it's something that I think is also come from love. So it's totally who I am. That's awesome. Um, yeah, totally. Um, yeah, that makes sense. I also, like I said the same thing to my dad. He was like, why do you need letters from home in like a, you know, a month? And I'm like, because you need them. Um, so how different do you think the season would be if Bruce was never medevaced? My AC is dripping. Let me check. Oh no. It happens when it gets really hot. Yeah, it's dripping. But it's okay. It's gonna be not that much time. So it okay. gets really hot. It gets okay. Um, so what would have happened if Bruce wouldn't have been medevac? The thing is, like when I got into that little boat in the Tika boat and I saw everybody in the boat, I was like, oh Sarah Hennel and Carson are definitely gonna like get together. And I need somebody that is going to offset all my crazy energy and my lack of strength, like my physical strength. So I saw Bruce in the boat as somebody that I could connect with. Like we would look at each other in the boat when we still couldn't talk. And I knew that I needed to go connect with him. So as soon as he left, I had to change all my plans. So had he not left, I would have probably been like Carl and Car Bruce, Carl and Bruce and I. Ooh. that went forward at least for that first vote um Bruce is like amazing like I've been able to connect with him after this show and I do think we would have understood each other as well I, I mean I I love everyone like I could have worked with everyone but I if I felt like I couldn't crack Carson Helen and, and Sarah I would have definitely stayed with the other two wow that's really interesting um 
Because, yeah, I was wondering that and then seeing him come up in season 45, I'm sure you're going to watch that. Are you excited to see Bruce, like, not on the island? I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy for him. When I saw that promo, I was like, dude, you're on season 45. Oh, my God, you're so lucky. I love you. I hate you for going back and not me, but you deserve it. And I hope I hope you play a great game because if it was me, the other players, I would take him out as soon as I could. Because... Yeah. Yeah, but uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't know what happens. Who knows? Um, it'd be kind of cool if you won. He'd be like, it would be like you guys both won. Yeah, <laughs> to pick up wins back to back. Ah! It'd be so funny. Um, uh, what is it? Oh, yeah. With season 45 also, their episodes are going to be 90 minutes. What I'm do you so think? jealous. Right? I was like, I, I bet yeah, I mean, I'm jealous. Like, what do you think we would have seen um, from your season if we had 90 minute episodes? Well, if you saw the secret scenes, it was always Carolina and me doing our shenanigans. So it was going to be a lot of fun. There was a secret scene that where I burned my buff that I think is so special. Um, I'm a huge Survivor fan and I collect Survivor stuff more when I was younger. Like I have stuff that was used on the show, like actual game items from Africa all the way to Palau. But... And I have a huge collection of mugs, shot glasses, buffs. So when I had my own buffs, like I saw my buff for the first time without anybody seeing the logo, anybody seeing the color. I was like, yes, I got the inside scoop of Survivor buff designs. And then I was cooking and I took the lid of the buff and I burned it. It burned like um, the material of it melted and it looked like Swiss cheese. And I was crying because that was my buff. That was like my special buff. And... That buff was only for Bruce, Carson, Helen, Carlin, Sarah, and myself. Nobody else can own the buff. Then Josh, of course, but <laughs> that buff represented so much for me. And to burn it, oh. and like I say in the clip, I was like, if that's the cost, if that's what get hurts in the path to win a million dollars, then I'm okay with it. And oh. at least you want. <laughs> I did, I did. Um, wow. Um, okay, so we know that you were very close with Carolyn um, and Carson. Um, would you ever go on Amazing Race with Carolyn? Oh my God, I would go to, with Carolyn from from the island to Amazing Race right away. <laughs> we're going to have a freaking blast. Are we going to be good? That's a whole nother question. That doesn't mean we're going to be good at Amazing Race. I'm just saying like we're going to have fun. Yeah. So even if one leg I'll make sure that <laughs> leg is gonna be a fun leg yeah but I love Amazing Race I, I'm a huge fan of Survivor Brook Brother Amazing Race you know okay. so I, I love it I love it love that are there any shows that you would want to go on after Survivor well if I have to choose one show and only one show I could go back for the rest of my life it would always be Survivor mm -hmm. So if they tell me you come tomorrow to Amazing Race, Big Brother, RuPaul's Drag Race, American Idol, whatever you want, tomorrow you have a secure spot or wait 10 years to the Survivor, I'll wait 10 years to the Survivor. Wow, that's dedication. Um, I love that though. Oh, that's cancel it. The kid is never going to cancel it oh. totally forever. If Survivor canceled, I would die. Um... <laughs> Be, like right behind me because I will be there before you <laughs> no we need you um uh, uh okay so there was just a video I don't know if you saw it that went viral of Ozzy talking about how he snuck in dental floss and a magnifying glass um <laughs> so how? how right did you ever think about sneaking anything into the island so afraid of getting kicked out of the process that I was like Mr two good shoesies or whatever. Like I didn't even have secret pockets in my pants. Like my husband did all my clothing because my husband is a fashion designer. So he did all my clothing for the show. Whatever he couldn't make, he picked. Um, and I was like, should we make secret pockets on the pants for an idol if something happens? And that never happened. So imagine like suing in like dental floss and like magnets and like magnifying glass. I'm like... And we don't have a lot of time to get their clothes ready. It's only like 10 days that they give us to get the clothing done. So it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a hurry. Yeah. Maybe before it was easier. Right now it's like, you have 10 days to turn it in. So. Yeah. But now you get a bag, right? So now you get to like, 
have some clothes, right? Yes, that's part of the game. I mean, we don't get a lot of stuff, but we get other stuff. Like I told some of the past alumni last week when I met them, I was like, stop complaining about new survivor. I don't make the rules. Go <laughs> Jeff. Go <laughs> like, I don't complain about all this stuff you got. I mean, <laughs> still a game. I mean, if you want to play again, I'm pretty sure you're going to find out. It's like we get maybe more clothing and other stuff, but it's impossible to compare what I live with what they live and they shouldn't be com comparing what they live to what I live. Yeah, they have the number of days and they, yeah, they have like less clothing or like other stuff, but you know, we had other stuff in the game. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, exactly. I mean, it's definitely like you have to, you have to earn the merge, um, earn the merge. Um. <laughs> it sounds stupid, but it's, it's, it's really like annoying and it's like puts you like your heart sings when you're like, ah, oh, Another thing, ah, oh, another thing, ah, oh, another thing. Yeah. yeah. Names, the names are like weird and they're like cookie, but <laughs> what you experience is not cookie. No, that that's fair because they, I think they make it look like fun and it probably is, but it's hard to. Um, okay, here's a weird question. Everyone's teeth look really white on TV. Do you guys like get like toothpaste or like teeth whitener or something? Like why is everyone's teeth so white? It's commitment. Like you're gonna be on national TV. Like fix yourself. Like there's stuff I couldn't do. Like I couldn't get laser surgery in my eyes or anything. But if you can like work a little bit of like teeth magic, like invest a little couple hundred dollars before you go on TV, you don't want to look nasty from day one. Nice. You know it's okay by tw day twenty. But you know, <laughs> we all get it ourselves. I know for a fact that everybody on our season, maybe except one person that I know, like, maybe we didn't do teeth whitening. <laughs> I actually got bracers before, and I couldn't use my um, retainers at night because maybe I don't kind of say, but um, so, like, they started getting crooked back again. So when I came back, I had to go and get them fixed again. Oh, no. That probably sucks. But <laughs> they look great now. Um, okay, so, like, last question i guess um there's so much else that i had but that's okay um you can have an hour it's okay jennifer you can go to lunch i wish um <laughs> if she was fine with it i'd be like yeah okay let's do it um we lost yeah. yeah get a glass of wine whatever um so what are you doing now that you've won like how has it been being back how's your family how's your life what's different well, what's different is like all the social media is like really hard to be on top of it. It's like a lot of pressure. Like I, before I wouldn't care about social media, my actual name Jam Jam came because of the fact that I didn't want people to find me on social media because my name is Jamil Arocho Miranda. Mm -hmm. So those are my three initials twice because I had to change my name on Facebook. So I didn't want people to find me. And I was like, you need a last name. And I was like, oh, so it's Jam, my first name. I was like, what's my second last name? And my last name, I was like, I'll do Jam again. So people started calling me Jam Jam because of Facebook, and that's where Jam Jam stick. And it was a way of me getting away from all that pressure. And then this, of course, brings all this pressure back in. But it's 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 mostly love. Like maybe not all of us are getting love, but um, to me, it's mostly love. So I'm really really thankful. Um, and other than that, my family has been very supportive. It's not easy, you know, when you come back and you have to hold this secret for eleven months. They don't know why you react to some stuff the way you react because you, I cannot tell them, oh, I'm happy. Or, I feel guilty because I voted people up or I feel like, oh, my God, I want to tell you how I did, but I have to hold it back. So it's like these emotions of controlling what you want to say because those are the rules and that's the fun of the game, not saying anything. But it takes a toll. It takes a toll. Now I'm like free. It's yeah. like a weight on my shoulders. Like I'm really like trying to relax. Yeah. Could you tell your husband? I, the lack of answer <laughs> is the answer. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. I guess I probably shouldn't ask. It, it, is, it, is, um, it is suggested for sanity to tell your closest loved one. Yeah. That's, okay. Good, good, good. I imagine not like, imagine like not telling your loved one that you got like <laughs> a position and like the loved one never understand where you're like crazy. Like, yeah, they need to know. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, imagine you're, I would just be like spending money and they'd be like, what are you doing? And I'd be like, well, we don't get paid after. So there's no spending money before. 
Oh God. Well, so now you're going to be rich. <laughs> I already know what I'm going to do with it, but it's still being set up. So no. <laughs> Well, it's still really exciting. Um, cool. Well, I think our time is up. Um, did you have anything else you wanted to add or any other questions? I'm sure you've done a million of these, so. Um, I love everything. I love the game. I love it so much. Everybody should play. And there's a lot of people, like being the first person of color, queer, openly queer to win the game, to me, it's like a huge success. The final six had the three Latinos in the game that the new era has three Latinos in each season. And the three of us got to the final six, which is half of the group. Jamie, it's the most amazing individual in the world. Super fun, the best soul. And such a good strategist, such a good strategist. And she just was on the wrong side of the game on the votes, but she was good. And it made her look like a little bit of a clown. Like she didn't like was knowing how to play. It's just that it didn't go her way. Had, had everything go Jamie's way, I would have been the clown. You know, because the stuff I said was like, dude, what's up with what the stuff you're saying? But I do have a lot of the love for Jamie. Lauren is an extremely strong woman and super like warm and so special. And Heidi making the faster fire making challenge is amazing. I mean, because it's always been about Carolyn Carson and I, but those other people that were in the game made the three of us play a better game. Yeah. And people don't know why we were so aggressive in some parts or like we're able to like work the votes it was because people were playing it's just that you only got to see our story wow yeah i i thank you for sharing that because i think that that is like really important to know that there's so much more behind what we saw um cool well congratulations again um thank you so much for taking the time i know you're like probably coming down from all these interviews and it's stressful um but i really really appreciate it it's a pleasure. Thank you for taking your time and asking for me. Of course.